Revez, he's told me that these two have played quite a lot because they've both been active in the latter this season. And his record has been pretty good against speed, despite the fact that I think they're both one position away from each other in the right ladder. Let's check. Yeah, they are indeed. So they're four points apart. Revezzi just over 1,500 speed, just underneath. Um, they've got Flakes and O'Khaled, the Salt Mine Grand Finalists ahead of them, and as well Kinsa, who's been dominating on stream recently. So not bad players to be behind in the leaderboard. But we're looking at four and five here. Number two and three EU behind only Flakes. So extremely high-level matchup incoming. Best of five. Speed against Revezzi. Let's get it started. I believe as well that I'm up to date on subs, but if I did forget you, or if I accidentally scrolled past it, because there were quite a lot in the last uh, show match, then, yeah, my apologies, didn't mean to miss you. And, yeah, I do appreciate you. Just let me know in chat, just at Johnny Boy Me, and uh, I can see your message. Who do you guys have in this one? 1v1, speed against Revezzi. Former rank 1 Xbox player just two weeks ago, switching to PC. First. Play is going to go in Speed's favor. Fake kickoff working out well. He also fakes a clear. And he's got Revezzi backed up into a corner here. And another mind game. This one will be a low 50 50. And an open net by Speed. So he's 3 for 3 there on the mind games. First the kickoff, then the clear ball, then the low 50 50. All those choices had big mind game elements. Speed was on top of all three. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Revezzi, just like a lot of other console players that switch to PC, has insane mechanics. I don't know, because I've never seen him play before. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the, he is dominant mechanically, and that could be smart for Speed to try and play the, uh, the mind games, try and keep the game as slow as possible. Hey, he's looking good, though. That's such a good setup by Speed. He didn't really follow through with the shot confidently, and his recovery had a lot to be desired. But I love the setup touch. He had a great choice in field. It's really kind of flopped on the finish as well. You're grinding for top 10 just for me, Noxus. Go get it, man. Little big spike. Thanks for the 14 month prime, dude. Good to see you streaming, even though there's no face cam. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty sick today, so I decided not to go with the face cams. People are just going to be asking me, why do I look so dead? Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling pretty dead, but these uh, matches today, they were. Just too good to pass up on. Had to go live and cast him for you guys, even if I'm not feeling 100%. I mean, even if I'm not sounding 100%, I'm sure it's suboptimal for you lot as well. <laughs> Having to listen to this voice, but I'm doing my best. 14th right now, you believe? Yeah, you gotta, gotta get that. Just, uh, just go do it, you know? Just go get top 10. Aggression from Revezzi. Steps up on speed slow play and speed has been solo playing quite a lot in fact every single one of his dribbles so far so i like that from revezzi switching things up he knows that he can't just shadow all the way back like he did in the first goal speed scored or he's gonna give speed too much space he's gonna give him too much time to dominate and looks like that's not what he's gonna go by he's gonna keep mixing things up and defense good save by speed on a pretty wicked flick from revezzi's direct dribble and he's gonna front flip into this one speed Saves it, exact same outcome. And a brilliant recovery by Speed. This time, he did get it right. Threatens a bump, sends Revezzi, Revezzi back into his own half. And look for Speed to cross him over again. No, he's just going to go straight at him. And he shows him how it's done. With a side flip flick. So he saw the reverse 45. And the forward 45 from Revezzi. The Speed beats him. Going sideways. 2-1. He absolutely does look like he's in this one. That's a mind game kickoff and the direct kickoff as well. Wow. You do not see that very often these days. Speed again. Straight down the middle. Not unusual to see air double bumps out of that kind of setup. And he's missed the boost steal. Revezzi had an open net and he's missed it. See the frustration. He throws his camera left and right there. He knows he should have done better. And he's let go of another pretty big opportunity as well. Had speed completely boost starved. But he wasn't able to do anything with it. Big flicks coming in. They've all been saved so far. By speed though. Who's had pretty immaculate defense. Oh, that's what played though, Revezzi. Saw how effective the mind games were earlier for speed and he decided it's time to give one a goal myself. Nice read as well off the bounce. Bar 
down and then sent into the net Finally for 2-2. Two two. Hope your Christmas break was nice, thanks for the awesome content. All hail our overlord, Brian. Tricos, yeah, my Christmas break was great, thanks for asking. Um, apart from this cold that I managed to acquire while I was on it. But yeah, it's good to be back. I'm excited to be streaming again. Nice little air roll shot by Revezzi. You know, these guys have looked pretty consistent with their direct dribbles. This is something I sometimes criticize because it's harder to generate a lot of power or, an, you know, any kind of angle change when you dribble so straight at the opposition goalkeeper like this and so straight at the middle of the goal. But these guys are showing how it's done. If you can flick to perfection or shoot to perfection, it is definitely viable. Um, and, yeah, thus far... There haven't been any complete flops in the flick department. There haven't been any, you know, awful slow shots. And after a kickoff goal from Speed, we're tied up once again. Good speed by Revezzi. Knew he would be under pressure there with the ball chase. And that's probably the worst flick that he's shown us all day. Just like I said before, if he decides to dribble directly at Speed's net like this, he does make it harder for himself to generate a lot of power on the ball. But he's got a good boost steal going. Speed times the repick to perfection. And wow, that's a pretty good bounce for Speed. It just clips the top of his car and almost goes into Revezzi's goal. It was a quick reaction by Revezzi, though. I'd love to see more variety in his attack. He clearly has the ball control to do some real damage to Speed's defense, but the creativity has not been there. Speed is reading everything that Revezzi's trying to do so far. It's really good to see you and if Revezzi can't get more out of his shots, he's going to struggle to score against someone who's got such great patience and boost management as Speed does. Speed, zero boost bump attempt, does not come to fruition. Three all, and now Revezzi will switch things up, but he accidentally double jumps. He was trying to dodge into that ball, I'm sure. So with 30 seconds left, it's back in Speed's hands. And he was playing extremely patiently there, hoping that Revezzi would turn around. It's not how the play transpired. Speed again. Brings it into his own corner. He's going to stay in control. Wanting to let the ball do the work for him as it rolls into the more dangerous position. Revezzi gets in the way of him. He looks for the mind game in the near post here. Speed has kind of fallen for it here. And that's going in. Speed! Oh, he couldn't quite keep it out. He thought it was going to hit the ground on zero here. Let the bounce happen. And then he realized to his horror that it was, in fact, going to bounce in. He had to make a touch, which, by the way, disaster management from speed there was nearly incredible. If he had managed to save that by popping it up into the uh, post and then into the ground, we would all be singing his praises, saying what an unbelievable save, but hey, it didn't work out. He accidentally it have not popped it into the goal. New prime subs. Oops. Just like that, anyway, Revezzi has taken a 1-0 lead in the best of five. Let me uh, just take a look at the alerts for a second. Swamp, thanks for gifting his uh, three-month sub to Jarius. Welcome back, dude. Also got uh, Marta Vania with the two-month tier one. Welcome back. Dorico's the 15-month prime. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by with the prime, dude. Speed. It's going 360 degrees backwards into an air dribble bump, which did not work. But he's playing patiently here. He's making small advancements, and now comes the big play. Speed, quick to turn around as well, and he's got the open net, staring him in the face. But as he couldn't make himself big enough. You know, Speed almost hit the goalie here. He almost hit it right into him. But he didn't, and that's the key. I think if he had, he would be absolutely kicking himself because he had the left-hand side of the goal there to aim at. Revezzi, clinical after the kickoff goes in his favor. And it's another tie game. Things are going pretty well so far for the debut player. Sniper boy Trey, thanks for the two-month prime. Welcome back, dude. Speed's fake kickoff's not getting as much going for him in game two as he did last game. Uh, Dirty Boom Links Cheers to the 7 month Prime This is uh, sorry I've not been keeping up with the Prime subs Hey, I appreciate every time you do swing by with one man Very kind of you, thanks for remembering And Fat Twitties as well With the 3 month Prime Welcome back, thanks to Amazon Big air dribble bump coming in there for Revezzi Something we uh, Honestly 
should be seeing more of if these two keep dribbling the way that they have been. If they keep coming straight at each other, this could just become an air dribble bump battle because flicks haven't been too successful for either player. There have been a few that have gone in, a few that have caused uh, you know enough threat to force the opposition to waste boost. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see more. Nice counter attack though by Speed. This is a really nice uh, first touch in the back corner. That touch there. Crucial. Hard enough to get the ball away from Revezi, but not too hard that he can't catch up to himself. Where have I been on your life? All your life? I don't know. Uh, where where you been? I don't know where you've been, so I don't know where I've been. Relative to you, if I don't know where you are. <laughs> Joseph Hart. UA soup time thanks to the prime sub. Another counter-attack goal for speed. He's handling the pressure in the back corner exceptionally well. He's not been afraid to move in and challenge the ball in that position, which I'd love, because I think overall it's a favorable position for the defender. I watch you every day. First stream I've ever caught, though. Cheers. Oh, Emil. Watching every day on YouTube. Welcome to the stream, dude. Of course, anybody who does want to catch my stream, any YouTube viewers, um, easiest way to do that is to is actually to follow me on Twitter because I tweet every time before I go live, and as we all know, Twitter notifications are a bit easier to spot than Twitch notifications, which can be a you know, bit bit less reliable, for, uh, shall we say? So I, I would recommend that they're both. I have links to both my Twitch channel and uh, my Twitter on my YouTube banner, so you can see them both there. Speed trying to come back here. Powerful air roll shot. Straight down the middle. And I like the placement going over Ravezzi's head here. I think Ravezzi, you just gotta go for the ball there. You're not gonna have any chance to save a decent shot from that position. You're just not. It's too hard. You don't have enough boost. You don't have any position in the ball. So passing up on, a, on an opportunity to just dive in, probably a misplay, especially when you're opposite goal side. Thanks for all of the content. Just like earlier on, the flicks are still being defended pretty consistently by speed. But hey, this one... Oh, wow. Is that really not going to go in? Okay, it is now from Revezi. I was going to say, you know, if he doesn't get a goal out of a flick, he's got to get the boost seal. And this time, that's what he did. So well played by Revezi. Must be a bit frustrated that his flicks aren't going directly into speed's goal because speed's shadowing is just too good. But he needs to keep up the boost seals off the back of those field flicks. That is the only way that he's going to get anything out of these. There is boost. He does seal it. That's what he's going to be going for. That's what he's going to be trying to do for the remainder of the game. And again, after sealing the boost, Speed's a lot more vulnerable. Speed doesn't have the same ability to make these reactive saves because you need boost for reactive saves. Well, you obviously need boost for everything in Rock League, but especially if you're shadowing. You can't really shadow at zero. And, uh, Speed's been put in an awkward position there twice in a row. Pretty much zero. Ravezi shrugs off Speed's bump attempts. Once again, direct dribble. Not doing too much for him. But he's ahead by... Or rather, he's fighting back here. He's only down by a single goal. Too hot, too fresh. Thanks to these 7 months prime. And also can expect to give this up to Oatmeal. Happy New Year. Appreciate you guys. Sid Payne also. Cheers to the 10-month prime. And then MJR with these 6 months prime. Welcome back. I haven't got a stream in a while. It's good to have you, Dan. Uh... Dude, did I just say dad? Because I, I meant to say man or dude. And I think I just said dad. The combination of the two words. <laughs> Good to have you. <laughs> dad. Hey, it's 5 all. Revezi brought it back. Speed is uh, not going to make that aerial shot. Oh, with 90 seconds left in the clock, this is a great opportunity for Revezi. Speed will already be somewhat tilted by the ending of game one. And if this one doesn't go his favorite as well, no doubt he will already be thinking that everything is against him today. And I believe the last time he played on my stream he got reverse swept by Bluey. So he can't be feeling too confident in this setting currently. Even if he has been grinding ones quite a bit recently. Well, that's a good read by Revezi, but he doesn't get too much distance on the pot. Clear speed does not punish him. Shot looking harmless as it goes wide and the boost seal timing is not there for speed. who has to make a run into his own half. Still in an advantageous spot, but he would have liked to get the boost seal there. Fake challenge, close to the ball from Revezi. Speed, trying to slot it past him, but the shot once more. Not enough power. That's good composure by Revezi, getting big behind the ball. 
to keep speed back. You can't see where speed is, though. That won't be an issue if he jumps up and pops him out of the way. And that is exactly what he's done. And just like I said earlier, if these guys keep dribbling straight at each other, we are going to see more and more of this. Because probably the number one way to score off a direct dribble is the air dribble bump. Revezzi, occasionally he's mixing them in. And he's having a lot of success with them. Speed, not going to be happy with how this game and how this series is going. Revezzi just needs to hang on here. But he's got all the tools necessary to do so. He's got the ball. He's got sufficient boost to move it around and waste some time here. He wants to play it early. He wants to get it away from any potential early challenges. Speed getting chased into his back corner. Revezzi sends it into the side wall. Speed. Trying to threaten any kind of wall shot here. He wants some space to work with, but Revez, he's not giving it to him. He bumps him into the corner, and that will do it for game number two. Revez, he just knows exactly how Speed wants to play that position. All game long, Speed has been trying to fake a play on the ball so that Revez, he backs off, gives him space to dribble, and then Speed makes his actual play for a goal or for a pressure play. And if you're not going to fall for the fake play that Speed is always making, you're going to win big, and that's what Revezzi did there. He just knew that Speed was probably going to leave him. He wasn't going to go for an early shot. Not from that position. It's too dangerous. Pre-jump for Revezzi. He's just falling right down out of it, and that's a great recovery, in fact, because the second pre-jump did work out. Speed, though, getting closer and closer to the goal. He decides not to rebound. It's quite a comical play all in all. Revezzi? Won't be too upset with the outcome. He's got the ball in the back corner, 100 boost as well. Reformed little hey, we'll see. I mean, you never know if somebody's reformed until time passes. Like, somebody can act reformed, but actually not be reformed for a long time, and then suddenly they reveal, hey, I'm not reformed. I've actually not been reformed this whole time. I was just pretending. So we have to wait and see, right? Gotta, get, gotta wait and see what happens. Another fake kickoff coming in for speed. Not sure if... Uh, Revezzi fell for that one. The chip suggests that he didn't. But it would have been better, of course, if he could have kept the ball. Because now he's in the receiving end of a pretty deadly hook shot. But the post saves him. And he's stayed under control. Stayed composed. And he's bringing the ball down again. For what might be another nightmare for speed. Gets a bit too far ahead of himself, though. It's just not good enough though from speed. He has to be doing more with this possession. He needs to at least force Revezzi to waste boost. Well, there he did. So he's popped the ball into the crossbar area. And Revezzi's jumped up, used all the boost he had left. That is exactly what we were hoping for from speed. Can he convert? Can he do anything off it? He's got the pressure that he wanted. Now he has to get the goal. Unfortunately, he's taking too long. Revezzi's back boost has respawned. Speed gets nothing out of it. Another crossover from speed. Big shot setups have been good. None of them have worked out though. Speed hasn't been able to pick his spot with the shot at all yet. Good read so by Revezzi. These are not at all easy to save. Not at all easy to position for. But hey, he's messed this play up pretty bad. That's 1-1. One, one. And after doing all the hard work, after saving all the difficult shots, Revezzi has completely been that one. He just jumped underneath the ball, got stuck on the wrong side of it. And that is all that needs to happen for Speed to tie up the game. And I say thanks to 2 Hot 2 Fresh RL for the 7 month. If not, welcome back to Just remember to use your Prime, everybody. Happy New Year. Absolutely, of course. If you, even if you're not going to Prime here, got to use it. Got to keep that on cooldown. But obviously, you should Prime here. Of course. And Oatmeal, thanks for 100 bits. Hope the Ricky holds on. HCR and Vezzy sweep. Oh, that is bad. That is absolutely shocking behavior in the jokes department. Another bump coming in, though, for Vezzy. It's exactly as we called... Earlier in the game, why stop what's working so well? Really nice touch in the ball, though, to continue the play onwards. Revez, you realized there was no way to catch up to it with a flip reset. There was no way to make anything else than the bump happen. Even though Speed probably saw it coming, even though he must have known at the last second there. Yeah, I'm being bumped, am I right? There's not too much you could do about it. It's the unstoppable move, after all. It bumps again by Revezzi, this time on the ground. Dodges into position for the aerial goal. And that's 3-1. Speed's got the OKs in chat. He is not happy with this. And it's all these bumps that are causing him to tilt off the face of the earth. And after 
coming so close to a game one win after keeping game two incredibly close as well. Speed starting to fall apart here. Saved by the kickoff in game number three. Kobe Harris 12, thanks to the brand new Prime dude. Thanks for checking to see if it was up and uh, using it here when you realized it was. Khaled versus Revezzi. Oh well, Revezzi of course, he's looking clean but he definitely needs to prove himself a lot more before I would expect him to beat Khaled. Although, uh, I'm not sure if Khaled's been you know, grinding ones as hard now that um, Salt Mine is over. Like, he, he finished Salt Mine and then I think the day after he had to go, go away, like off Rocket League for weeks, for a couple of weeks to study. For, uh, for some finals, so I'm sure we'll be seeing Ocala return to top form pretty soon. And he's currently number two in the leaderboard, so he can't be too shabby, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe that's a matchup for the future. Revez is definitely looking pretty solid here. He's got all the ingredients for a deadly ones player. Perhaps a bit too predictable at times in offense, but who cares if you're predictable if you're air dribble bumping people? Doesn't really matter if they know what you're doing. As long as you can execute your own play well enough. It doesn't matter what they do. One minute left in the clock. Speed's still down by a goal. Nice save. He's actually kept it away from Revezzi while doing so. But there's the boost seal from Revezzi. This is what we talked about earlier. If Revezzi isn't going to get a goal off these flicks, he needs to get the boost seals to make something off it. And that boost seal is still keeping Speed back. This entire time, Speed is just reeling from that boost being stolen. He can't catch up to the ball. He can't get it away from his goal. And Revezzi sends it over to him for 4-2. 44 seconds left. Speed on the ropes. And he's not going to concede a kickoff goal this time. Revezzi gets the big win. He can make it 5-2 here. No mind game necessary. And it is 5-2. Speed with another okay in the chat. I don't know if he remembers that he got a kickoff goal after Revezzi last one ahead by two goals. He probably remembers that one. It just happened though. And it's going to be a sweep unless Speed could do something outrageous right now. Revezzi even going for another air dribble bump here. Just to absolutely nail Speed's coffin closed. Nice dodge on the back wall. It's been bumps that have absolutely dismantled Speed today. And at the end of the match, attempting to do one of his own does not get rewarded. Overall, very interesting series. The scoreline certainly misguiding. But GG's, Revezzi was right. He does have a pretty good record against Speed, and that good record continues with a very impressive debut match. Congratulations to him on the 3-0 win on his continued path to recovery from being a toxic player. GG's. Let me uh, just take a look at the alerts for a second. Swampy, thanks for getting us uh, three month sub to Jarius. Welcome back, dude. Also got uh, Marta Vania with the two month tier one. Welcome back. Dorico's with the 15 month prime. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by with the prime, dude. Speed. It's going 360 degrees backwards into an air dribble bump, which did not work. But he's playing patiently here. He's making small advancements and now comes the big play, Speed, quick to turn around as well, and he's got the open net, staring him in the face, but Reverzi couldn't make himself big enough, you know, Speed almost hit the goalie here, he almost hit it right into him, but he didn't, and that's the key, I think if he had, he would be absolutely kicking himself, because he had the left-hand side of the goal there to aim at, but Reverzi, clinical after the kickoff goes in his favour, and it's another tie game, things are going pretty well so far for the debut player. Sniper boy Trey, thanks for the two month prime. Welcome back, dude. Speed's fake kickoffs, not getting as much wow, going for him in game two as they did last game. Uh, Dirty Boom Links, cheers to the seven month prime. He says, uh, sorry, I've not been keeping up with the prime subs. Hey, I appreciate every time you do swing by with one, man. Very kind of you. Thanks for remembering. And Fat Twitties as well with the three month prime. Welcome back. Thanks to Amazon. Big air dribble bump coming in there for Revezzi. Something we I honestly should be seeing more of if these two keep dribbling the way that they have been. If they keep coming straight at each other, 
this could just become an air dribble bump battle because flicks haven't been too successful for either player. There have been a few that have gone in, a few that have caused uh, you know enough threat to force the opposition to waste boost. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see more. Nice counter attack though by Speed. This is a really nice uh, first touch in the back corner. That touch there. Crucial. Hard enough to get the ball away from Revezi, but not too hard that he can't catch up to himself. Where have I been on your life? All your life? I don't know. Uh, where where you been? I don't know where you've been. So I don't know where I've been. Relative to you, if I don't know where you are. <laughs> Joseph Hart. UA soup time thanks to the prime sub. Another counter-attack goal for speed. He's handling the pressure in the back corner exceptionally well. He's not been afraid to move in and challenge the ball in that position, which I'd love, because I think overall it's a favorable position for the defender. I watch you every day. First stream I've ever caught, though. Cheers. Oh, Emil. Watching every day on YouTube. Welcome to the stream, dude. Of course, anybody who does want to catch my stream, any YouTube viewers, um, easiest way to do that is to is actually to follow me on Twitter because I tweet every time before I go live. And as we all know, Twitter notifications are a bit easier to spot than Twitch notifications, which can be a you know, bit, bit less reliable, for, uh, shall we say? So I, I would recommend that. They're both. I have links to both my Twitch channel and uh, my Twitter on my YouTube banner, so you can see them both there. Speed trying to come back here. Powerful aerial shot. Straight down the middle. And I like the placement going over Revezi's head here. I think Revezi, you just gotta go for the ball there. You're not gonna have any chance to save a decent shot from that position. You're just not. It's too hard. You don't have enough boost. You don't have any position in the ball. So passing up on, a, on an opportunity to just dive in, probably a misplay, especially when you're opposite goal side. Thanks for all of the content. Just like earlier on, the flicks are still being defended pretty consistently by speed. But hey, this one, oh wow, is that really not going to go in? Okay, it is now from Revezi. I was going to say, you know, if he doesn't get a goal out of a flick, he's got to get the boost seal, and this time that's what he did. So well played by Revezi. He must be a bit frustrated that his flicks aren't going directly into speed's goal, because speed's shadowing is just too good. But he needs to keep up the boost seals off the back of those field flicks. That is the only way that he's going to get anything out of these. There is boost. He does seal it. That's what he's going to be going for. That's what he's going to be trying to do for the remainder of the game. And again, after sealing the boost, speed's a lot more vulnerable. Speed doesn't have the same ability to make these reactive saves because you need boost for reactive saves. Well, you obviously need boost for everything in Rock League, but especially if you're shadowing. You can't really shadow at zero. Uh, Speed's been put in an awkward position there twice in a row. Pretty much zero. Revezi shrugs off Speed's bump attempts. Once again, direct dribble. Not doing too much for him. But he's ahead by... Or rather, he's fighting back here. He's only down by a single goal. Too hot, too fresh. Thanks to these 7 months Prime. And also can expect to give this up to Oatmeal. Happy New Year. Appreciate you guys. Sid Payne also. Cheers to the 10-month prime. And uh, MJR with the six-month prime. Welcome back. I haven't got a stream in a while. It's good to have you, Dad. Uh, dude. Did I just say Dad? Because I, I meant to say man or dude. And I think I just said Dad. The combination of the two words. <laughs> good to have you. <laughs> dad. Hey, it's 5 all. Revezi brought it back. Speed is uh, not going to make that aerial shot. Oh, with 90 seconds left in the clock, this is a great opportunity for Revezi. Speed will already be somewhat tilted by the ending of game one, and if this one doesn't go his favor as well, no doubt he will already be thinking that everything is against him today. And I believe the last time he played on my stream, he got reverse swept by Bluey, so he can't be feeling too confident in this setting currently, even if he has been grinding ones quite a bit recently. Yeah, that's a good read by Revezi, but he doesn't get too much distance on the pot clear speed. Let's not punish him. Shot looking harmless as it goes wide and the boost seal timing is not there for Speed who has to make a run into his own half. Still in a advantageous spot but he would have liked to get the boost seal there. Fake challenge close to the ball from Revezi. Speed trying to slot it past him but the shot once more. Not enough power. That's good composure by Revezi getting big behind the ball to keep Speed back. You can't see where Speed is though. That won't be an issue if he jumps up and pops him out of the way and that is exactly what he's done 
And just like I said earlier, if these guys keep dribbling straight at each other, we are going to see more and more of this because probably the number one way to score off a direct dribble is the air dribble bomb. Revezzi, occasionally he's mixing them in and he's having a lot of success with them. Speed, not going to be happy with how this game and how this series is going. Revezzi just needs to hang on here. But he's got all the tools necessary to do so. He's got the ball, he's got sufficient boost to move it around and waste some time here. He wants to play it early. He wants to get it away from any potential early challenges. Speed getting chased into his back corner. Revezzi sends it into the side wall. Speed trying to threaten any kind of wall shot here. He wants some space to work with, but Revezzi's not giving it to him. He bumps him into the corner, and that will do it for game number two. Revezzi just knows exactly how Speed wants to play that position. All game long, Speed has been trying to fake a play on the ball so that Revezzi backs off, gives him space to dribble, and then Speed makes his actual play for a goal or for a pressure play. And if you're not going to fall for the fake play that Speed is always making, you're going to win big, and that's what Revezzi did there. He just knew that Speed was probably going to leave him. He wasn't going to go for an early shot. Not from that position. It's too dangerous. Pre-jump for Revezzi. He's just falling right down out of it, and that's a great recovery, in fact, because the second pre-jump did work out. Speed, though. Getting closer and closer to the goal. He decides <laughs> not to rebound it. It's quite a comical play all in all. Revezzi won't be too upset with the outcome. He's got the ball in the back corner. 100 boost as well. Reformed little hey, we'll see. I mean, you never know if somebody's reformed until time passes. Like, somebody can act reformed, but actually not be reformed for a long time. And then suddenly, they reveal, hey, I'm not I've actually not been reformed this whole time. I was just pretending. So we have to wait and see, right? Gotta get, gotta wait and see what happens. Another fake kickoff coming in for speed. Not sure if uh, Revezzi fell for that one. The chip suggests that he didn't, but it would have been better, of course, if he could have kept the ball. Because now he's in the receiving end of a pretty deadly hook shot. But the post saves him, and he's stayed under control, stayed composed, and he's bringing the ball down again for what might be another nightmare for speed. It's a bit too far ahead of himself, though. It's just not good enough, though, from speed. He has to be doing more with this possession. He needs to at least force Revezzi to waste boost. Well, there he did. So he's popped the ball into the crossbar area. And Revezzi's jumped up, used all the boost he had left. That is exactly what we were hoping for from speed. Can he convert? Can he do anything off it? He's got the pressure that he wanted. Now he has to get the goal. Unfortunately, he's taking too long. Revezzi's back boost has respawned. Speed gets nothing out of it. Another crossover from Speed. Big shot setups have been good. None of them have worked out though. Speed hasn't been able to pick his spot with the shot at all yet. Good read so by Revezzi. These are not at all easy to save. Not at all easy to position for. But hey, he's messed this play up pretty bad. That's 1-1. One, one. And after doing all the hard work, after saving all the difficult shots, Revezzi has completely been that one. He just jumped underneath the ball, got stuck on the wrong side of it. And that is all that needs to happen for Speed to tie up the game. And I say thanks to Too Hot Too Fresh RL for the 7 month. If not, welcome back to it. Just remember to use your Prime, everybody. Happy New Year. Absolutely, of course. If you, even if you're not going to Prime here, got to use it. Got to keep that on cooldown. But obviously, you should Prime here. Of course. And Oatmeal, thanks for 100 bits. Hope the Ricky holds on. HCR Revezzi sweep. Oh, that is bad. That is absolutely shocking behavior in the joke department. Another bump coming in though for Revezzi. It's exactly as we called earlier in the game. Why stop what's working so well? Really nice touch in the ball though to continue the play onwards. Revezzi realized there was no way to catch up to it with a flip reset. There was no way to make anything else than the bump happen. But even though Speed probably saw it coming, even though he must have known at the last second there. Yeah, I'm being bumped down tonight. There's not too much you could do about it. It's the unstoppable move after all. He bumps again by Revezzi. This time on the ground. Dodges into position for the aerial goal. And that's 3-1. Speed's got the OKs in chat. He is not happy with this. And it's all these bumps that are causing him to tilt off the face of the earth. And after coming so close to a game one win, after keeping game two incredibly close as well, Speed's starting to fall apart here. Saved by the kickoff. 
in game number three. Kobe Harris 12, thanks for the brand new Prime, dude. Thanks for checking to see if it was up and uh, using it here when you realized it was. Khaled versus Revezzi. Oh, well, Revezzi, of course, he's looking clean, but he definitely needs to prove himself a lot more before I would expect him to beat Khaled. Although, uh, not sure if Khaled's been you know, grinding ones as hard now that um, Salt Mine is over. Like, he, he finished Salt Mine, and then I think the day after, he had to go, go away, like, off Rocket League for weeks, for a couple weeks to study. For, uh, for some finals, so I'm sure we'll be seeing Ocalid return to top form pretty soon. And he's currently number two in the leaderboard, so he can't be too shabby, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe that's a matchup for the future. Revezzi definitely looking pretty solid here. He's got all the ingredients for a Deadly Ones player. Perhaps a bit too predictable at times in offense, but who cares if you're predictable if you're air dribble bumping people? Doesn't really matter if they know what you're doing. As long as you can execute your own play well enough. Doesn't matter what they do. One minute left in the clock. Speed's still down by a goal. Nice save. He's actually kept it away from Revezzi while doing so. But there's the boost steal from Revezzi. This is what we talked about earlier. If Revezzi isn't going to get a goal off these flicks, he needs to get the boost steals to make something off it. And that boost steal is still keeping Speed back. This entire time, Speed is just reeling from that boost being stolen. He can't catch up to the ball. He can't get it away from his goal. And Revezzi sends it over to him for 4-2. 44 seconds left. Speed on the ropes. And he's not going to concede a kickoff goal this time. Revezzi gets the big win. He can make it 5-2 here. No mind game necessary. And it is 5-2. Speed with another okay in the chat. I don't know if he remembers that he got a kickoff goal after Revezzi last one ahead by two goals. He probably remembers that one. It just happened though. And it's going to be a sweep unless Speed can do something outrageous right now. Revezzi even going for another air dribble bump here just to absolutely nail Speed's coffin closed. Nice dodge on the back wall. It's been bumps that have absolutely dismantled Speed today. And at the end of the match, attempting to do one of his own does not get rewarded. Overall, very interesting series. The scoreline, certainly misguiding. But GG's, Revezzi was right. He does have a pretty good record against Speed, and that good record continues with a very impressive debut match. Congratulations to him on the 3-0 win on his continued path to recovery from being a toxic player. GG's.